Hey guys, welcome into another YouTube video. Uh, in today's video, we are testing again on this 6600 rig. We've got eight cards on there, and we are currently mining Raven. This is the full power draw at the wall, around 500 watts. Probably go around 501 average at the wall. And I'll jump into the software and show you what mega hash we're getting for that. Hey guys, so now we're in the software side and we are showing all the numbers. We've got roughly 117 mega hash on Ravencoin. Uh, we do drop below that sometimes and then go up as high as about 117.5 mega hash. It's like the highest it gets to. Uh, occasionally drops down for a short period of time to about uh, 115 to a, sometimes 112 uh, but only for a short time then comes back up um, yeah so these are the numbers here 501 at the wall minus a 17 watt system idle 484 divided by 8 60.5 watts per card uh, and then this uh, efficiency number is actually taken from the whole rig so 117 um, 117 mega hash divided by 501 watts equals the mega hash at uh, sorry mega hash per watt of the overall rig so yeah that's why this number is slightly lower than um, it would have been when I did the individual card testing because it now includes the uh, full like system idle and everything but also due to like the system uh, having to undervolt all the cards and it having like a strain on the system once you have eight cards because previously I tested it with three uh, So with the eight cards, I can no longer get the 57 watts that I was getting previously uh, And also because like various different models some of them would pull uh, slightly more wattage than others And I do believe the Azrox that I was testing were uh, among the most efficient of all the 6600s so yeah that's the numbers there uh, one thing I will mention um, so I haven't changed the fan speed since I was doing ETH and you can see which cards are doing well and which aren't um, for starters I'll say the uh, power color which is yeah 47 so that's this is the first card on the rig so it should be the coolest by far however the second card on the rig obviously lower fans and it's uh, cooler as well uh, and also the other as rocks this one and this one 48 and 46 you can see it better up here just like the cool ones are the as rocks all three as rock cards are under 50 and the only other one that's under 50 is the first card and those are core temps uh, meme temps are getting a bit high on some of the cards as well um, yeah I just wanted to leave the fan speeds the same so you could see uh, the difference between the two different algorithms some cards have better cooling on the memory others have better cooling on the core and then some like the Azrox are just good on both so yeah props to Azrox these are all the settings that I use to obtain all this uh, so I'd previously tested these um, these cards on this algorithm so I know that 1200 core is going to be the best for these cards and I know that uh, leaving the memory clock the same is going to get the full hash rate and then all I had to do was adjust all the core voltages I had to tune them up slightly and then I did when I had some instability uh, the rig was dropping hash rate down to like 105 or something um, I decreased sorry increased memory controller voltage and SOC VDD max by two uh, and I increased some of the memory voltages as well and then rebooted just to get uh, stability at this higher hash rate of 117 roughly so yeah that's pretty much all i had to do to switch from eth to raven 
And yeah, that's all I have for this video. So this is Ravencoin on 86600s. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And have a great day. See ya.